Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. Humans are not necessarily fond of standing and having water poured upon them. And yet sometimes there is something that can be said for it. The theme is as stated, getting in touch with nature, but perhaps there's something more. Let us acquaint those listening. In the ring of Cary, we stand by the ocean. The cliffs are majestic. And the group is in a car park. It's not necessarily sacred ground any more than any other ground is sacred. There isn't an abbey here where there are monks who have written knowledge but there is something here. You're in the elements, and I would like to try so much to alert you to something that has been lost so grandly by so many humans on the planet. When the times were different, and I say it again, all humans had were the stars, nature, the animals, and that is when the earth was part of them. And there was a realization, a tremendous knowledge that the earth was part of humanity, not apart from humanity. Everything revolved around the partnership of the planet and the humans upon it. You have heard the expression dust to dust. It is true. Corporally, you are part of the planet. You came from there. You don't have a tendency to think that. You're born in modern clean rooms. You go from here to there in covered areas. You walk in cement. You never understand that you are part of the planet's dirt. The very water that falls on your head used to be in the ocean and then it goes to the sky and then it comes back and then it goes and it comes. The circle is the same with you. And the only reason we point this out yet again is because there is an energy flow. There is a consciousness. There's even a friendship with Earth. And if you remove yourself from it and live day by day in a society that doesn't honor it, you lose something. You lose one of the best friends that you've ever had, ever could have, one that supports you. Even if you never touch it, it's there. It's called the Gaia grid. How much can we tell you yet again about how much you've lost, of how the indigenous counted upon it, aligned with it, didn't worship it, aligned with it so that they could have the things that they needed and then they gave back to the planet. How is it that it could be lost so completely that you don't even think of it? Could you start your day? Thank you, dear spirit inside. Thank you, Gaia. Thank you for the circle and the cycle that is here. It means so much. Your life will improve if you include the friend called Gaia. And so you stand here with the water falling on your head, with the cars driving by, and you think, how sacred could this be? And we tell you the sacredness is what you make it. And the planet is always ready always ready for ceremony. It's a strange place, perhaps, for the ceremony. Or is it? This is the message. It always is. Always will be. That the spirituality that you claim inside also includes that which you came from. Guy speaks today. You can listen. It talks in the wind and the rain and says thank you. And so it is.